All right, Lindsay got the win. Um, the team definitely had some resilience in them um, after dropping that first set. Um, just how was that able to turn that around? Yeah, we just weren't disciplined in the first set. Um, things that we had said in the scouting report, we were allowing to score or weren't executing offensively. So we got to control that better on our side of the net. Um, but I do like our resilience, and we finished in in-game down 20-22 in that set to make some plays um, and to score with two kills at the end, not just kind of get let off the hook by their air. So I do like some of the lessons that we had to learn, and at least we learned it the easy way tonight with a win versus not playing well and having a loss on our record while we work through some of those things. Uh, we had all three of uh, the pins were in double figures on kills. Um, Jade, or Courtney and Muff had 15. And how is that just, they sort of just took over the game for the team? Well, I thought we had pretty good balance tonight. Jaden was scoring really well and hitting a high percentage. Honestly, Brittany was our go-to player. Anytime we could get her the ball, we, we tried to. So she only finished with eight. But like I said, if we could pass good, that's where we wanted to take the ball tonight. So I like that we have that kind of balance. And there's times that Lauren's leading us in kills. So that means we have all five of our starting hitters at times that are the, the go-to kid. That kind of balance is going to pay off down the road. Um, obviously, serving there was yeah, ten aces with twelve errors. Um, is that I, mean, I probably want less errors, but I mean, obviously they're serving aggressive. How does that sort of help the team? Yeah, we all want less errors. I mean, everybody in the stands want less less errors. That twelve is way too many in a four set match. That's giving away three points. Maybe we have six errors that are aggressive, and you know, with ten aces, I would take six errors. But six of those are mental errors, and we've got to be sharper. But that. That was just a symptom of the rest of our match, where we were just not disciplined. We weren't quite as focused and sharp as we need to be, and it showed up at the service line as well. Um, have Northern Arizona on Saturday night. Um, what does the team need to sort of, how is that going to change the game plan of facing against that team? Well, it's a different team, different style, different offense coming at you. So, you know, I, I don't think there'll be much carryover. We start fresh tomorrow as we prepare for NAU. Everybody knows that it's an important match in the conference race and so I hope that we won't come out flat which I, I feel like we did tonight and that's not didn't have anything to do with Southern Utah that's just us not being prepared and sharp on our side but we get we got to be ready to go on Saturday. Uh, just going back to the offense um, Daisy had 44 assists obviously five uh, had a double double 12 digs. Um, what did you see from her that just sort of she just sort of took it up a notch tonight? Yeah, I think Daisy set a very good match. She set a lot of hittable balls. Early in the set, I thought the balls were maybe dying inside a little bit, and she made a quick change, set some aggressive balls. Our last two kills come from our right side and our middle, where typically an in game, a passive setter is going to set their left side over and over again. So I like that she's making aggressive decisions. I thought she set a very good match tonight.